Welcome to the Folly Station Score app. The first time you open the app, you may need to tap the Try App button, which will download several sample seasons and sync information with our servers. Once you've done that, the app should look like this. In order to add a match that you'll be able to score, you'll start by tapping the blue and white plus button in the lower right. Once you do that, a menu will pop up giving you several options to add matches. We're going to scan a QR code. Once I tap that, my camera will activate and I'll be able to scan a QR code. This QR code should be provided by the referee who is working the match on your court. Once you've scanned that, you should have the teams that are playing verify that those teams are correct. You can also verify the match information at the top part of this of this screen. The next thing you'll need to do is set rosters for both teams. You'll do that by tapping the set roster buttons. Verify that all the players present on the roster are actually present for the match. If a player isn't present, you can unselect them. And if there's a player that is present that isn't on the roster, you can add them by tapping the blue and white plus icon. Once you've done that, you'll need to enter their shirt number. That shirt number is the only piece of data that needs to be accurate. The player code, first and last name, can be whatever you'd like them to be. Just make sure that the jersey number is correct. Tap Save, and you'll see this new player added to the roster, and you can select them as being present. Once you've done that, you can tap Save Roster, and the roster will be set. And we'll repeat that process for the other team. Once you've done that, you should verify that the match rules are accurate. In this case, we're playing best two out of three sets with non-deciding sets being played to 25 and the deciding set being played to 15. If for some reason, the rules for the match that you are about to score are different, you can tap the match rules and you'll have some different options to be able to select. As a rule of thumb, you should only need to change the default rules if the referee working your match tells you that something different is being played other than best two out of three. Once this is done, now you can click the Create Match button, confirm the rules, and the match will be ready to begin.